Wish Tree, Chapter 17. As much as I was concerned about the baby's re reaction to Francesca's words, I was more worried about Samir. What would happen when she returned from school and saw the word carved into me? Would she think it was meant for her and for her family, as Francesca and the police seemed to assume? She came home alone. Ahead of her by a few yards was Stefan. A reporter from the news, neighborhood's newspaper was waiting on the sidewalk, interviewing people as they walked by. Word travels fast in our parts, especially when there's yellow police tape involved. Had they seen what had happened, the reporter kept asking, had they ever made wishes on wish tree, wishing day? What did they think the word leave meant? The reporter approached Stefan. Did he know why someone would carve leave into the, in, into the beloved local wish tree? Stefan stared at the reporter. Then he glanced behind Samir, sending her the shadow of a sad smile. Without answering the reporter, he headed to yard his house. He headed towards his house. Samir's eyes darted from Stefan to the reporter to me. She ran closer, saw the word, and gasped. She reached a hand towards me, but the police tape put me out of reach. Are you a resident? The reporter asked. Would you like to comment on the incident? Samir didn't say a word. She turned and walked up the sagging steps to the little blue house her head held high, standing tall, reaching deep. Wow, that was a pretty short chapter. That was chapter 17 of The Wish Tree.